is Natalie Nunn. In this video, I'm going to give you a little bit of a backstory of Miss Natalie Nunn, her beefs, her controversy, her friendships, the TV show she been on. Basically, a summary of Natalie Nunn. Now, Natalie was born on December 26, 1984. She ran on her school track team and competed in 2002 Junior Olympics. She attended University of Southern California where she played a defender of the Trojans women's soccer team making five appearances in 2004. On season four of Bad Girls Club, Natalie was the star. The manipulator, she was playing with the girls' minds. She was also being messy and fake to Flo and Kendra. The whole house against Kate. She was talking bad about Portia. She was saying she have a gorilla nose. She's gonna be ghetto. And on season four, she made a lot of colorist comments. Even was talking bad about Rihanna and the Chris Brown situation. Was kind of saying that Rihanna deserved it and Rihanna was crazy. And Natalie was showing her true colors on season four of Bad Girls Club. Also allegations that her and Chris Brown was messing around. And of course, Chris Brown denies the allegations. He says, you guys have nothing better to do. And by the way, I don't mess with that girl. No one really knows who to believe. Natalie is a liar and Chris Brown is kind of a liar too. So we don't know who to believe. Natalie is definitely a clout chaser. Clearly, they was hanging out. I don't know what they had going on. I don't know if it was a business ship or a friendship, but they definitely was hanging out. Then Natalie goes to say that Rihanna confronted her about the comment she made on Bad Girls Club season four. We don't think that's true. See Rihanna even having a conversation with Natalie. The comments were so ignorant and crazy. And Natalie just said that to get attention. See Rihanna paid her no mind. Natalie was also on Love Games. Who one really liked her on Love Games? She was being Natural Natalie, AKA Messy. And she was on Bad Girls Club All Star Battle. He Natalie did very good on the All Star Battle. She was very competitive, a good competitor, in shape, winning challenges. I really wanted her to win this season, honestly. The girls in the house didn't really like her that much. She was gonna try to be fake or manipulate them, things that she usually do. But honestly, on this season, it wasn't on all that. She was just playing the game, trying to win a hundred thousand dollars like everyone else. So I was really rooting for her. Of course, Flo made Jennifer sense her home. Natalie already had money, so it didn't like she needed to win on several Bad Girls Club spinoffs. Oh, she was good to say the least. Natalie was also on Celebrity Big Brother and she was the first contestant to be evicted from the Celebrity Big Brother house. Felt like that show wasn't for her anyways. Oh, she also had her own episode on Bridezillas. She married her husband. She was also on Marriage Boot Camp with her husband, Jacob. And it's been a lot of controversy about her and her husband. Some people seem to think they have an open relationship it was also a rumor that allegedly Natalie was having an affair with Bad Boys Club Curtis. Curtis, neither Natalie denied the allegations. I don't know if the rumor's true or false. Now, Anthony did throw some shade at Natalie. He allegedly got a Plan B pill for her. The Plan B wasn't for Curtis. It wasn't even Curtis' baby. So was he confirming that Natalie and Curtis mess around? I don't know what to believe. But if Natalie is in an open relationship, I guess that's her business. And Tummy from Love and Hip Hop and Baddies also came out and said Natalie Nunn's husband allegedly goes the other way. Once again, I don't know if it's true or not. I don't know was Tummy just mad and lying about it. I don't know. Like I said before, if Natalie and her husband is happy, they've been together since 2012. They seem to be making it work. So whatever works for them, works for them. I'm not judging no one about their relationship. Now, what I can say about Miss Natalie Nunn, she is a horrible friend. She treats all her friends as just ridiculous and horrible and snaky. One, I think Natalie befriends people that she knows she can get paid off of or it'll benefit her in the long run. She knows Krishan is unhinged. She used Krishan for her mental health to get views. Krishan is pregnant. She only showing her attention to Blueface. She don't really care to be on the baddie show anymore. Natalie want to let her go. I think she's ready to let her go because she's done draining her. She don't got all the coins and money and views out of her. She done with her now. She moving on to the next person. And like her relationship with Tommy. I believe Natalie used Tummy mental health for views and money too. Again, she knows Tummy is crazy. She knows she is unhinged. I feel like Natalie like hanging with crazy people so it can make it seem like she the same person. She know how to play and manipulate people and make it seem like she's just nice person when she's really not. Just like how she did Judy on Bad Girls Club Redemption season 13. She was pretending to be Judy's friend, but she was talking behind Judy back to the other girl saying she want Judy to go home. Judy is another one that don't really have it all. So of course, she was easily manipulated by Natalie. 
Adelie was telling her to throw a drink on people, telling Judy to start with people. She was really playing with this girl's mental health. It seems like Natalie have a pattern of doing that. Even on the Bad Boys Texas new show, she got Orlando Brown up there. She went and bailed him out of jail just to put him on her new Bad Boys Texas show. Y'all know he had mind problems in the past mental health issues where he got into it with the police got into it with random people on the streets and to get clean out of jail to go in a bad boy's house with people fighting and being crazy i don't think that's good for his mental health but once again look how she did Krishan. look how she did judy she loved to use people that's not really right in the mind and use them for views of course they're just gonna see it as her being friendly her being nice but she really a real manipulator and she know how to play with people's minds she's been doing it for years ever since season four of bad girls club but business wise i guess that's what's got her to the top i mean she do got the most popular show that's out baddies west baddie south bad boys la bad boys texas well i guess she know what she's doing i guess she's just gonna manipulate herself to the top I don't know if being a manipulator is just her real personality or she just do it to get by or she just do it for clout or whatever i don't know but i think it's her real personality because she's been acting this way for a long time now and if this just a front she's putting on she is a hell of a good actor excuse me actress and i also feel like she befriended roly for the wrong reasons i felt like she put her on tv to try to make fun of her or try to make her look bad or whatever but roly wasn't going for that okay roly stood her ground she stood up to natalie and baddie south and she already told natalie hey i'm not the one to play with okay she can play with the rest of the girls but roly put her in her place so she quickly changed her perspective of roly found somebody else that she could manipulate somebody that she can manipulate talk to any kind of way fight whenever she get ready and that was scotty now, i don't know if scotty is just too loyal she's scared whatever the reason is but natalie won't treat me that way she said natalie is a good friend natalie put her on she put her on a lot of money so i guess that means more than loyalty and natalie knows how to keep the drama going on her shows she knows how to start mess she knows exactly who to go to if she want to see a fight which is Krishan. because once i said earlier Krishan is enhanced and she know Krishan triggers so she knew exactly what she was doing send low up in this scene he kept telling Krishan, low said this low said that low is mad at you because you came late i mean low was mad but i don't think she was pressing the issue the way natalie made it seem natalie wanted to show out of Krishan, and she got it she also claimed to be low friend. Oh, low my dog. I've been knowing low since Bad Girls Club. But this your friend, but you set her up on her first day to humiliate her on TV. But once again, that's how Natalie do her friends. She'd do anything for money and views. I would be very careful how I deal with Natalie. But one thing I can say about Natalie, she know how to get in her bag. She know how to stay in her bag. She been relevant since, what, 2009? And it's 2023, and she's still relevant. And she have the popular shows that's out. I definitely applaud her on that. Think about Miss Nunn, she is a boss. And nobody can take that from her. And now they say they're coming out with Baddies East. And I hope it have a better storyline. A whole better storyline than Baddies West. Because the only thing they did on Baddies West was fight, go to the club, fight, get in drama. I mean, drag the episodes. They didn't really have no plot. The girls really didn't have no storyline. Like, it was all over the place. It was ghetto. It was low budget. I don't know. Hopefully she'll do better with Baddies East and cast better people because I wasn't satisfied with this cast. I even have auditions if you already have the girls chosen. But overall, I think she's a good business person and she does put a lot of people on. Well, I applaud her for that and I give her flowers for that. Tell me what y'all think below.